We all have things that are important to us. Things we want to keep safe. Things that are a part of who we are. And when something threatens these things, the question becomes, have you done everything in your power to protect them? At Tecantra, we ask ourselves that question every day. Congratulations, and thank you for owning one of the most sophisticated trailer braking systems available today. Whether you tow for work or play, you can depend on Tecantia to enhance your towing experience by working to make sure both your tow vehicle and the trailer it's pulling slow down and stop at the same time. Over the next several minutes, we will show you some important setup steps to be sure you have the smoothest braking experience possible. If you have questions or need more specific information, please either refer to the installation and owner's guide enclosed with your control or call us. If this is your first installation, please listen for a moment to some important tips. The Prodigy P2 offers a state-of-the-art tri-axis accelerometer that allows the brake control to be mounted at any 360-degree vertical direction. Locate the mounting position that is in the most convenient position possible and within easy reach. Most newer vehicles have a brake control vehicle plug-in point located in the primary electrical harness under the dash. Use the vehicle-specific wiring harness sometimes provided by the automobile manufacturer or available separately from your brake control supplier to connect the brake control wiring. Then plug it in under the dash. If your vehicle is older or does not provide a plug-in point, use the generic wiring instructions provided with the brake control or see your dealer for installation details. If you have questions, please refer to the owner's guide or give us a call. Because every trailer is different, your brake control needs to learn the weight of the trailer and the condition of the trailer brakes. This is required to determine the optimum power necessary during an emergency stop without trailer wheel lockup. Once you've connected the wire harness and mounted your brake control, connect the trailer to the tow vehicle, which will be indicated by a dot C dot on the display. Squeeze the manual override control and set the power to approximately 6.0. Then tow the trailer to a dry level surface. Take the vehicle up to 25 miles per hour and reactivate the manual override. If the trailer wheels lock up, slightly reduce power. If the wheels turn freely, increase power to a point just before wheel lockup. It's that easy. For information to fine tune your system for optimal performance, Check your owner's guide for details. Because you own one of the most advanced braking systems available today, very little is involved in preparing for your trip. Your brake control uses a patented boost system to allow you to change the feel of each braking event. There are four levels of boost, B, B1, B2, and B3. Your brake control is programmed from the factory to boost one or B1. To operate this feature, depress the blue button several times until B dot appears in the display window. This is the least aggressive setting of the boost options and should create a condition where you can barely feel the trailer braking. For more aggressive braking, touch the button again to show B dot one in the display. This setting makes the sensor more sensitive to motion and delivers current to the trailer brakes slightly ahead of the tow vehicle's braking system. One more touch reveals B.2 in the display and an even more aggressive braking field. One more depression of the boost button takes you to B.3, 
This setting will be required when the trailer being pulled is significantly heavier than the tow vehicle. Never pull a trailer that exceeds the vehicle manufacturer's recommended gross combined weight rating. The reverse feature will disable the boost for a short period of time. This is intended for use when there is no need for aggressive braking, such as backing up. To enable this feature, hold the boost button while pressing the vehicle's brake pedal until dot R dot is displayed. Release both the boost button and vehicle brake pedal. This will temporarily turn the boost off. The boost will automatically restore itself to the previously set level after three minutes of no braking activity or pressing the boost button. The Prodigy P2 is specifically designed to support customer-supplied electric over-hydraulic braking trailer systems. These systems are normally used to facilitate trailers that use disc brakes. The P2 is set up from the factory to look for and control industry standard electric trailer braking axles. Like all Tecantra proportional controls, it constantly looks for electrical continuity between the tow vehicle and the trailer brakes. An electric over hydraulic braking system uses a pump to control disc brake fluid pressure. The electrically controlled hydraulic pump requires the brake control to change the way it diagnoses the trailer conditions and therefore requires a setting change to perform correctly. To change the setting between controlling electric brakes to a disc brake equipped trailer, you will need to enter the reverse mode as previously mentioned by holding the boost button while depressing the brake pedal. Once you have entered the reverse mode and have a flashing R, quickly release and again press the boost button while continuing to depress the brake pedal. Hold the boost button for five seconds until the display changes from the boost value to a flashing E or EH. At this time you can release the brake pedal and boost button. By pressing and releasing the boost button now, you can toggle between E and EH to select the desired mode. You can engage the manual lever to accept the chosen mode or wait 10 seconds for the function to automatically time out and accept the mode. The mode selected will be stored in memory even when disconnected. When in electric over hydraulic mode, the display will change to uppercase C and N dot uppercase C. The uppercase C indicates electric over hydraulic rather than the lowercase dot C and N dot C for electric mode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the road.